So a lot of folks have questions about plumbing uh, their systems in. And uh, it's kind of a big question, but it's something that's very easy to do and it's a very rewarding part of building a system because oftentimes you can make it go really fast. It's kind of like Legos for adults. Um, so I'm going to talk about the two types of tubing that you'll be using, or the two types of pipe, and I'm going to talk about how we basically fit them together. Um, so there's two major types of pipe that I use in my systems really regularly and that I recommend. The first is uh, poly tubing like this. It's a polyeth polyethylene plastic, and it's somewhat flexible. So it allows us to kind of send it around corners and do some really interesting things and avoid spending money on L's. Okay. So um, we mostly use one inch for our mains because we're, we're running off of a large pump and half inch for all of our little feeder lines. And this stuff is really great because it's flexible and uh, you can make it do all sorts of things without putting in L's and, and uh, that essentially just increases the efficiency of your pump and your water pressure in your system. Um, so for these types of plastics we primarily use barbed fittings and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's just a fitting that is barbed and it fits into the end of the pipe, just like so. Now you might need to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to essentially heat up the plastic to squish it on here, um, but once it's on there, uh, it's gonna stay. Um, now, unless you live in a really hot place, uh, you probably don't need hose fittings, but because it gets pretty hot here at times and the sun shines pretty bright, um, we put on either crimp type hose clamps like this or stainless steel uh, bolt type uh, hose clamps. And I recommend that if you live in a hot place or if you're worried about the sun heating up the plastic and it blowing off. So, those are the two type fittings. Uh, barb fittings um, are the primary ones that we use in these types of systems. Um, the other type of pipe that we use a lot of is PVC. Now, I recommend going with the poly as much as you can, but when you can't, PVC is, uh, is pretty good stuff too. So uh, the big thing with PVC is make sure you have down all of your measurements before you start cutting this stuff up. Uh, you can always put in slips that will fit together two pieces that you cut too short, but by and large you want to have a really solid understanding of uh, the lengths you need to run and the corners you need to make and the T's you need to put in. Now uh, this stuff is expensive. Fittings are expensive. The more you're doing, the, the more it adds up. So. Um, if you can use poly to avoid using L's, I uh, highly recommend it. So if you're with uh, PVC, because it's not a flexible pipe, we can't use barbed fittings. So uh, we have to use essentially PVC fittings. Where'd my PVC fitting go? Here we go. Um, PVC fittings are typically either slip or threaded, okay? So the slip is what fits onto our uh, PVC pipe. And uh, you're gonna have to use glue to do that, all right? Um, so this stuff is expensive, a little bit goes a long way. It's actually a pipe weld. We're actually welding the two pieces of plastic together. So you're gonna have to go buy some of this, and I would recommend getting a primer too, especially if you're using old, ugly pipe that you salvaged from something else. Um, it's gonna help those uh, pieces weld real nice. So um, make sure you have your measurements down, cut your pipe, weld it together, and uh, it sets really quick and you can start using it right off the bat. Um, a lot of folks ask if it's, if it's dangerous for the fish. You want to let it set up a bit, um, get those fumes out of your system, uh, but by and large I've never had any problems with uh, fish being distressed or, or having problems relating from the glue or the fumes, um, so long as you let it set up uh, pretty nicely. So that's about all you need to know about these two types of pipe. Later on I'm going to talk a bit more about how to fix systems, and um, if you guys have any questions about uh, fitting these types of pipe together or uh, doing your measurements, figuring out uh, kind of those calculations, please let us know on our channel and we'd be happy to answer them. All right, well, welcome to our video uh, tour of our greenhouse. This behind us is the greenhouse. You can see the fish house here. and We've got our greenhouse kind of heading on an east to west axis there. It's a double layer.